Yeah, tribute groupies. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Terrible. it's uh, like he. She has to pretend that he's actually Bono when she's having sex with him. Like, does yeah. he know that? That Dude, like you can't get out of character. You have to be. Don't Bono. talk unless you use an accent. Yes. That's right. Yeah. There's rules. Keep the glasses and hat on. No guy would complain though. No. no. Yeah. Why would you give a <laughs> yeah, exactly. shit? Girls would be like, "Why don't you like me for me? All it's just a character." The guy would be like, "Blow me." Yeah, this is great. When I used to have long hair, and Bon Jovi just started hitting big. I was down at Jersey Shore in Long Beach Island at a bar, and some these chicks thought I was Bon Jovi. And this girl comes like, "You're Bon Jovi." I'm like, "Yeah, I go. I better let's get out of here because it's gonna get crazy." I'm in the fucking car, I'm making yeah, out with her. Awesome. I got my hand down her pants. She's like, I've been a fan since the first album. I'm like, "Real, that's great." She's like, "When's the new one coming out?" I'm like, "I don't know, sometime soon." Yeah. Mugging it out, great. And then she invited me to a party the next day because her son, like her eight year old son, was a huge Bon Jovi fan. Uh -huh. She's like, "Please come." I'm like, "All right, let me think about him." And then the next day, I'm like. Look, I had to call a kid on the phone and tell him I couldn't come because I had to go in the recording studio because I didn't want Bon Jovi to get a bad name because yeah, yeah, yeah. she wound up jerking me off. So I'm like, all right, I should at least make a call to the kid the next day. Oh, oh. Do you know she's been telling people she jerked off Bon Jovi for 30 years? I so I but called so, the kid and so the kid's so excited. We all have. Yeah. We've all done that. She bought it all the way to the end. Oh, and she wanted me to come to the barbecue uh, the next uh, day, but I knew it would be busted. Uh, I knew, come on, I knew it was going to be busted. You'd be so you busted. busted. Somebody yeah. there would be like, oh, they all like Bon Jovi. You. What did you, you jerked that guy off? That's that's like Bon Jovi. It'd be great if the only person who knew that you weren't him was the kid, and you had to threaten the kid. Right, yeah. 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 Shut the fuck Don't up, tell your mom. Yeah. I'm fucking your mother. It's our mom. secret. I'm your new mom's boyfriend, John Bon Jovi. <laughs> I was at the quarter deck down in Long Beach Island. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The quarter deck. That's hilarious. Well, that is weird. Yeah. <laughs> jerked him off. But I had to call, I felt like I had to call the kid the next day. I didn't want to... Some chick yeah. in Canada thought you were some fucking ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Didn't, didn't you fucking... Wait, what was that? Jim's a genius. He just played it off. What was the fucking... Some uh, some stripper in Canada <laughs> said we were at a strip club, me and Bob Levy, and she's like, Curtis? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, Curtis from Calgary? I'm like, yeah. She's like, you remember me? I'm like, I... Yeah. Um... You don't remember me. I'm like, well, your hair's different. You always go to the hair. Yeah. Because yeah. the, the day before, it's different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I used to have a perm. Yeah, see, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> you remember me? Oh, and I'm like, yeah, um, yeah, I sort of. Got, she's like, you know what this asshole did to me? And Bob's like, what? And she goes, he picked me up at a bar. His band played one night. And we um, we went to his back to his house. We had you're sex. you nodding yes. Like, yeah. We yeah. had sex. And she goes, and then you, you threw me out and made me walk home in a snowstorm like three <laughs> miles. And it's something that I would have done. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm like, look, I'm sorry. I was going through a lot of things at that time. I had this ex. And she's like, I can't believe you did. I'm like, she goes, I haven't heard from you. Where you been? I said, yeah, I moved up to here. I was in Toronto at the time doing gigs. Yeah. Oh, she's shit. Like, oh, my. And I'm, I'm making out with her in the park a lot. She's like, you got to come to this party. I was telling her about you. Know, I used to see your band. That was another one I couldn't go. <laughs> I'm like, as I'm some, sorry. As Did, some girl gets out of her car and goes, Bon Jovi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up. Did, I, fuck, it didn't and, run. And then she kept saying how she goes, I hate American men. She goes, I could tell an American accent in a second. And me and Levy got the fucking worst accents yeah. ever. Yeah. I'm mean, like, yeah. She goes, oh, I could spot them a mile away. I hate Americans. I'm like, yeah, I hate them too. Oh, fuck Did you get a blowjob or no? No, we are making out outside and... Yeah, no you know, matter was, how much you pound it, you can't get that tender. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was a day one, so it was kind of like oh during the day. Yeah, but, so yeah, yeah, That's a little hard. Cool. You have rules then. <laughs> yeah, never in the day. Florentine, no, <laughs> the strippers don't because yeah, they're you know yeah. they. they they gotta go home. And yeah, yeah. They Curtis, don't put that. They gotta stare at their baby. Down. But and then after what she put that, she put the homeless outfit on. You know yeah. the strippers when they're off their shift, they yeah. put that homeless outfit on. Yeah. The t-shirt that like past the knees. Yes. Yeah. And the baggy sweats. Yeah. And the hair in a bun, and they got the cock blocker friend to pick yeah. them up and drive of them home. Course. That they're trying to get in their pants for fifteen years. Oh, they're their guy friend. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's that the worst. Oh, <laughs> they are uh, always sitting there fucking looking at you all suspect because you're slipping her, you know, a little extra money or something. And they're looking good. Too. You're yeah. not getting anything from this. How long have you been driving her around? Yeah. I mean, and he, he, in his head, he's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take her away from all this. Yeah. And the yeah. fact is, you, your life is worse than hers. Yeah. Why would she go with you? She's not going <laughs> to fucking go with you yet. Uh, so I've sat in strip clubs for so many fucking, so many times. <laughs> and, and like, last part of the beer, you're ready to yeah. leave. Uh -huh. And then another stripper walks in the door with her bag over her shoulder. Yeah. And stuff. you're like, 
Ah, no, I got to see her naked. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I got the opportunity to see her naked. I'm going to see her naked. Fucking yeah, because she's not. She doesn't come in hot either. No, no. They but come you got. Like I got. Yeah, rat. you got to see that. Yeah. yeah. It's like I have the opportunity to see her nude. Why am I leaving? What do they do? That do they? Is there a show that does like a stripper makeover? That's a great idea. Like bring women in and turn them into strippers and vice versa. Mm, that would mm, be a fun mm. show to watch. Oh, like and turn strippers into like fucking yeah housewives. But I'd rather girl. see the opposite. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, so too. Florentine yeah, has the best though. stories, though, man. They're all true, too. <laughs> they They're all true, awesome. right? Jim stops at the fucking... Uh, we always quote Jim, because he's he'll actually stop like at the fucking... like quoting Florentine. No one else gets it out at, there, but... At the turnpike, at the fucking... Uh, he'll stop at the tolls and ask the turnpike guys for coffee. Like, uh, I heard you guys were serving coffee. Yeah, I'm like, I got a coffee. He's like, what? You know, fucking miserable. I'm like, what are you talking about? I got my friend said, if you're tired, um, you can get coffee. The rest of the guy's like, Where's a, where would you think a coffee pot would be back here? Tell me where I put it. I'm like, I don't know. I've never been in one of those before. I'm not sure. <laughs> he's like, I'm really mad. Yeah, oh, they go crazy. I'm like, you got any gum, a bagel, something that can hold me over till I get to the rest stop? That'd be what you had. Just hand a prescription to them. Can you fill this, please? <laughs> And then there was one time those turnpike tickets, you know, you had the ticket and you had to give yeah, it to them yeah. at the end. Me and my friend, like from exit one all the way up to 16, were just picking our nose and putting boogers <laughs> on the back of the ticket. And my friend was pulling these huge ones out. Oh my God. He was calling nose meat. They were so big. And we stuck them all on the back of the ticket. <laughs> I went to get the guy the ticket. And he went to Gregory. Whoa! He pulls his hand back. He goes, what's on that ticket? I go, I don't know. I was eating uh, some sandwich, maybe lettuce. He's like, I'm not touching that ticket. I go... He's like, take that off, and they're all stuck. I go, look, I don't know what it is. Lettuce. And the guy just took it like, just like this, with his, like tweezers, just grabbed the end of it. He was miserable. That is so fucking disgusting. And, and, and they were dead. I'm the telling you, time. three quarters oh, of the fuck. ticket was covered in snots. <laughs> <laughs> nose meat? Nose meat, my friend. Nose meat. <laughs> I don't think that stuff could be worse than what they're giving you, though. Because if they're, they're in there for eight hours. God, yeah, touching they've, everything. They've yeah, invented yeah. even more sinister ways to screw with us. Oh, must, probably. Because yeah. they're so angry. Gavage. We, uh, when I was living down in Florida, me and my buddies would go out and nail all these skanks. And, um, <laughs> we caught, we caught, like three of us caught chlamydia at the same time. And we had no money to go to doctors, like a hundred bucks for a visit and then another 50 for a prescription. So we went, our buddy used to always go to a pet store. We went with them. They had tetracycline in the pet store for, for fish. <laughs> so we just went in there because it's a form of penicillin. And it was like, it was, the pills were like 20, 25 for like six bucks. And a prescription was like 30 or 40. So we just went in there and took those pills. We didn't even know how much we were taking. We were just popping them. <laughs> And it was gone in like a day and a half. And our buddy that went to the real doctor, he had two shots at his ass. Wow. Took him 10 days. Knocked out in an hour. And then we just go in there. If we like had some skank the night before, like, let's go in there just as a preventative. preventative. Yeah, absolutely. Just start popping them. responsible of you. Did your yeah. one friend die and you flush him down the toilet? <laughs> You know, we could we could have solved it by wearing a condom. That would have been easier. Oh, but. Fuck that! No, feels like shit. I hate that. It's like a porn condom. version of the Amazing Mr. Limpid. Remember that movie? Yeah, yes, of course. <laughs> when, Don, when Don Rickles turns into a fish, you never <laughs> saw Don that movie. Knotts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don Knotts. Don Knotts. Yeah. Yes. Don Knotts. That's Don right. Knotts. Yeah, man. But they do have yeah. tetracycline in, in the pet stores Who for knew fish. That? Yeah. Damn it! I never heard that. Yeah, and, and that's penicillin. That I mean, it's basically a form of penicillin. Yeah, yeah. Same, does the same thing. Holy Fuck. shit! I'm sure it's not recommended. It's pretty fucking sure smart. It's human we figured we dr we drank like fish. We just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you got rid of uh, you got rid of that day and a half. You didn't get no. tail rot either. No. I don't, how do you know or if you ick. got rid? Because see, that's the issue with chlamydia. You didn't never burn. know if you get rid of it. I don't know. It didn't burn him. I didn't care. That, you never probably, know if you get rid of chlamydia. He probably still has it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he probably still has it. Uh, yeah. shit. That probably just made it worse. Yeah. That's the, the issue with chlamydia. It doesn't have symptoms. It's basically. Uh, uh, symptomless, especially among women. They don't know that they've got it. That's yeah. why. It, that's why it spread so quickly. Well, that's good. Then you can blame it on them yeah. when, she, when it finally shows what, up. What, what and you, you gave it to her. Like you didn't. Know, you don't know. You yeah. have it. You could have got it six years ago. Yeah. Just say you don't have it, and she does. All of a sudden, she has it. Now you could be like, if you want to break up with her, go. Like, nah, you're fucking somebody. Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> I'm clean. Hey, wait, uh, fucking whore. Way to rub it in. <laughs> yeah, she give, give her the disease and then blame her for it. I know. <laughs> that's that's break up with her. You gotta turn it around. What, what, it works. what about when you were a kid and, and you wanted, uh, you used to hang out with a guy who had like, uh, you were into wrestling? Oh no. Who, who was, uh -huh. Oh no. <laughs> who was that? The, it, <laughs> please tell me. We used to, <laughs> how old were you? I was 14. My dad used to take us to wrestling matches at Madison Square Garden. And we met this guy out front who would sell wrestling pictures. 
<laughs> fat guy. 300 pounds of bad mustache. Yes. We go up to him every time he's in the same because he was a photographer, so he'd be in the front, so he'd have all these great pictures. Sell them to us for a dollar piece, you know, and uh, we became friends with him somehow. He, he's like, oh, give me your address. So he started sending us pictures of all the kids in the neighborhood. Then he would call me on the phone and tell me about the match the night before. Oh. oh. And my voice was about this. It was this deep at 14. And he's on the other end, and I'm asking all these questions, and he's fucking breathing heavy. Oh, no. I had no idea. I'm thinking, where's this This guy just come in from a no. jog? Oh, oh, fucking, where's this fat guy jogging Jesus. from? Just keep me on the phone. He's like, so, so, <laughs> don't you want to know more about the match? Well, ask me some questions. And he's fucking. Oh, <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> wow. So then we went to a match by ourselves. Our parents let us take the train at Asbury Park or whatever. So we're sitting in the nosebleed seats. He comes up in between a match, and he goes, hey, I got two seats right in the front because he was the photographer. Somebody wants to come down there, Jim, you, and this other guy, this other kid with blonde hair and blue eyes. Yeah. Come on down. We get down there. There's only one seat. Oh. We go, what's going on? He goes, oh, somebody's going to have to sit on my lap. This is my other seat. I'm like, you didn't say that. He's wow. like, well, some And I'm like, this is bullshit. I'm ready to walk up there. And all of a sudden, I see Andre the Giant coming out. I'm like, holy fuck. <laughs> He's right there. I'm that close to you him. Were, you were